What is up you guys, the Indie Dev here, and today we're just going to be covering some of the basic concepts of Unreal Engine, such as like how to open and start a project, how to move around in the project, and kind of really begin uh, like how to use and work with the interface, such as like dropping in assets and how to manipulate them. So first off, we're going to be talking about how to create a project. So when you download Unreal Engine, uh, this is what's going to show up in the Epic Games, specifically in the Unreal Engine tab. So what you're simply going to want to do is click Launch. Now this might take a few minutes depending on the power of your computer, and so we're just going to have to cut to that part. So when you open up the, uh, the project in Unreal Engine, you're going to get this. So you're going to get Games film, architecture, and so on, as well as any of the previous uh, projects you've been working on. This is from a different hard drive, and so this is not actually what's being shown. These are just some sample things that I was messing around with. But for this sake and purpose, we're just going to open up a game. And when you click Next, it's going to give you a bunch of different templates. So originally, the first default one is going to be a blank template. So there's going to be nothing in there, no blueprints, no assets, nothing. But there are also different uh, templates such as first person. And each template gives you a description over here on the right hand side of what it does. So the first person template features a player character which is viewed from a first person perspective. The character can be moved around, level using keys, blah 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 blah. Same thing with flying, puzzle, rolling, and so on. So depending on what you're really going for and what you're wanting to do uh, with your video game project, each template is going to be different and uh, the best one is just going to fit you depending on what your needs are. So for this sake we're just going to do first person. So once you click next you're going to get to the project settings. So this is where you are going to get more into the specific details of things. So uh, with blueprint and C++ blueprint is more of kind of like think Lego pieces when um, you have the code right there you just gotta like be able to process and understand how to put it together where C++ is more of like you're making it from scratch uh, you also have the ability to uh, change the quality as well as ray tracing ability and you can also decide on what um, the project's gonna be exported to and if you wanna have starter content or not so that means like any assets and that type of thing down here you're just going to be able to pick the location and the name of the project and you're just going to click create okay so once your project is open this is going to be um, pretty much what you're going to see on your screen and basically overall there are th three main components you have this top section here which is the viewport itself uh, kind of what like the library uh, so you have different abilities such as like uh, things for cutscenes, um, assets, those types of things, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. Um, the tab menu, which uh, basically also holds like all your content, your folders, and then we also have the settings ability over here on the right hand side, as well as a way to access uh, the different assets that are currently in place in the menu. So, first off, um, let's talk about assets so what are assets assets are the objects or the things that are actually in a video game so for instance over here on the left hand side there are different types of assets we have an empty actor uh, we have a cube a sphere a cylinder those types of things but for the you know for the simplicity of everything let's just drag a cube in here so now that you see that it's down here in the bottom but you can't necessarily look at it what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to right click and hold and when you move your mouse around you can actually move your camera and then you just use the WASD to zoom in. So now that we're a little bit closer you can tell that there are three arrows here. So up, you know, the um, which are the different vertical axes. So you have the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. So simply what you can do is you can mess around and drag them like over here in the detail panel if that's what you want, but you can also just simply click the viewport and drag it up accordingly. So now while we're also talking about this, I do apologize, that's for my Discord, um, you can mess around with the rotation of the asset as well as the scale. So you can make it longer, you can make it shoulder, shorter, taller, wider, that type of things. Now if you don't like something specifically, you can just click this yellow arrow 
and it'll take you back to the original. But if you want to keep it the same generic shape, but you just want it a little bit bigger, you can click this lock. And so when you type in a value, that value is transferred over to all three. And then if you don't want to, just simply unclick it again and then change the value to what you want it to be. So that's kind of like the overall um, general concept of the assets. Uh, so now we're kind of going to be moving on to the static mesh and uh, the materials. So a static mesh is basically think of the skeleton of a human body. So when you click this little tab, depending on what you have imported into your project, you have tons of different shapes, different items that you can do. So for instance, if we wanted this couch, we simply click the couch. Now as you can see, we have the skeleton, but it doesn't really look like a couch. So all we're going to really want to do is come down to materials. And the materials is basically the skin of the skeleton. So when you click it, you can pick all these different colors and skins for your object. But as you can clearly tell, the brick is not <laughs> not a couch. So like as we said before, we have this reset to default. So when you have the object selected, just click it and it takes it to its default skin. Now that looks like a couch. So for the next thing, I also want to kind of go back over here to the library here, and I want to talk about some of these that might be a little bit confusing. Uh, so the empty character, the empty pawn, the player start, those types of things. These are items that are a little bit more uh, complex, and we'll cover these in different videos. So right now, just don't pay any attention to them. Now, for this bottom section here, we have um, the content library. So I call them both libraries, but this specifically is a content browser. So depending on what you um, are more comfortable with and depending on like what tutorials you're watching, uh, some people call it different things, but basically overall, this is your filing cabinet. This is where everything is going. And then you can just simply make folders in here to organize your stuff. So right off the bat, What's here is what's included in the project when you first start it up in the first person template. That's why it says first person. Now, let's say you wanted to create another folder for some items that you're doing. So simply right click, and then you're going to see new folder right up here in the top. So when you click that, you're gonna be able to name your project folder. So let's say I wanted to say hello. You click enter. Well, let's say hello is in the wrong place and you don't want it in the first person template. You want it to be a folder all by itself. So simply click the folder and drag it to content and click move here. Now when you do that, it has created its own file right here as seen in the content section. And this, you can do the same thing. You can add all your stuff in here if that's what you want. And overall, it's acting as the place to um, keep everything that you need in one spot to make things a little bit more easier and clean. So that is the overall main concepts of the, um, the main panels. Up here in the top right, these are going to be more of your, um, I guess you can say tool belt, so to say. So you have your, um, your save, as well as like the ability to change different modes. We'll cover this more later on in a different video. But some of the other things that you're gonna to wanna to really pay attention to are um, blueprints, cinematics, building, and more specifically, this play button right here. So, let's say you're done doing what you're wanting to do and you're actually wanting to play test your game. If you click this drop down arrow, you can see where it says play spawn character. Now, if you have it set to the default player start, and you click play, it's gonna take you exactly where you have the spawn points. That is how you um, play and move around. And the same concept is WASD, right click to drag your camera around, look where you're going, that type of thing. Now, each controls are different depending on the template that you've selected. And that concludes our first video here, just covering the simple basics. 
Uh, as we continue on with the lesson plan, there will be more in-depth uh, discussions. But as of right now, if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. And then if you um, just have any free time, mess around with the engine. That's the best way to really get used to uh, this tool and to really kind of understand and learn different things. So open up a couple of projects, mess around with it. You're not starting anything major, so if you break it, that's okay. You're just kind of getting the general idea of things. Um, but without further ado, I'll see you next time.